<clears throat> In our last segment, we were trying to figure out who won, who lost, who deserves some of the blame here. And as long as we're playing the blame game, some Republicans have been doing a little bit of grumbling about New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, specifically from this event when Christie and Obama toured stormed ravaged sections of New Jersey just six days before the election. Christie embraced the president. He praised his efforts and bipartisanship on storm recovery, even boasted the two had traded personal phone numbers. Some on the right exploded, saying Christie was helping the president's election chances and urged Christie to once again show his support for Mitt Romney, even though Christie was Romney's convention keynote speaker. Rose reportedly his first choice for vice president, and that Christie had barnstormed the country on Romney's behalf. Guys, is there anything to this argument that Christie helped sink Romney and, and was Ron, do you, and do you think Christie ran from Romney in some ways looking after his own political future, or was this all just about getting the storm taken care of? Well, I think take Christie out of it for a minute. The storm definitely presented an opportunity for the president to show leadership and be in command. So I think that was helpful to him. Not that you Which want to politicize no the storm, storm, but hit. I th exactly. Um, Christie, he was a little gushy about it. Like, I didn't think he needed to go quite to the level that he did, but he, you know, I hate to say this, and I'm a fan of his, but he is kind of looks out for himself. I was disappointed in his convention speech. It was all about him, and I thought he missed a huge opportunity to talk about Romney and go after the president mm -hmm. in that role, and he was talking about his own policies, and I think that that compounded with the storm stuff has people questioning, you know, where his priorities are. Do you think it was political? Do you think it was look, Christie looking after his own best interest, or do you think it was keep the help coming, Mr. President? As a governor, you have to, in a situation like that, you have to sort of put politics aside and work bipartisan, no matter who's in power. You have to do that. It would be wrong if he used that as a platform to attack the president. But it, it just seemed, it seemed a little gushy to me. What's, what, what was your take of all this? I, I mean, I think the folks on the right who are attacking Christie for not being critical enough for the president when he's got millions of people without power, he's got the Jersey Shore destroyed. I mean, they're insane. Chris Christie's first job is to protect and defend the people of New Jersey who are grappling with a tremendous storm. He was getting help from the federal government. He brought the President of the United States to inspect what the damage was, to see what more could be done to help his people. Yet politically, there's an old saying that the best politics is good government. It's certainly good for Chris Christie, the Republican governor of a, blue, of a very Democratic state, to be standing next to the President of the United States when he's going to run for re-election next year. Right. But quite frankly, you're in a crisis, you're in a disaster, you need help for your people and the president's there to lend his help. I don't see how, you know, you respect the person, not the office. Forget about it being Barack Obama. The president of the United States came to town to help his constituents. What's he supposed to do? Settle this, Dom. Uh, I will settle it this way. Call me a bit cynical, but I agree. You're a bit cynical, but go on. But I agree a little bit with, with, with both of you. Uh, remember, mark my word here. You're gonna read in the months ahead that there was bad blood between Christie and Romney. Now, mm. in politics, there are very few accidents or by coincidence, very few. Almost everything in politics happens for a reason. You mean to tell me, first of all, Governor Christie, he's, he's looking out for his constituents, but he was also sending a message to Cory Booker, the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, that, hey, buddy, if you plan on challenging me, you're going to be in for the fight of your life. That's number one. Number two, Chris Christie saw the handwriting on the wall. He saw that Governor Romney was not looking too good, and he was trying to distance himself. Are you telling me that Governor, Governor Christie, knowing that the election was a week away, and that every word is scrutinized carefully, that he didn't know the impact of what he was going to say about the Democrat uh, sitting president? Of course he did. Governor Christie, it was almost a, an endorsement. And then Governor Romney holds an event in Pennsylvania right next to you, Governor, and you don't show up? There's bad blood between those two. Mark my prediction here. It's like a soap opera plot. Ooh, I can't wait to tune in tomorrow and find, what ha find out what happens. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to ask if the GOP needs a makeover. Stay with us.